Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and these are the uses of descriptive geometry in mathematics. Descriptive geometry was developed in 1765 by a draftsman, and what he was trying to do was be able to represent three-dimensional objects in two-dimensional space. Let's take a look at this cube. Based on the drawing, I can't yet reconstruct this cube in three-dimensional space, but when I add in the measurements, let's say everything is one foot, now I have all the tools I'll need to reconstruct this cube in three-dimensional space. And that's why descriptive geometry is still used today by architects, contractors, any profession that is required to build 3D objects using 2D images, like blueprints. I'm Drew Moyer, and these are the uses of descriptive geometry in mathematics.